It's Pastor A. Ron again. And Deaconess Micah. And today's topic is uh, jealousy. jealousy. Jealousy is that emotion that gets the best of me. It makes me angry at everyone I see. Oh, jealousy hanging over me. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, jealousy! Jealousy, mm -hmm. jealousy, jealousy. That green-eyed monster. Uh, pastors and deaconesses are not immune to that green-eyed monster. No, we are not. Known as jealousy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there are lots of example, I, examples I could give uh, about jealousy, you know, invading mm -hmm. my life. And mine. Yeah. Uh, one, uh, one example I will give is during Holy Week. Every, every Holy Week, I mean, on Facebook, we'll have, you know, these pastors, man, these pastors that will post on Tuesday of Holy Week, all of my sermons are done. I, on the other hand, did not even start one yet. <laughs> and I get a little jealous. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. do. Or like this past year, uh, when pastor's on vacation and everything's going crazy, you're at church. And then I see a picture of all the fun that pastor's having while I'm pulling out my hair. Oh, no. That, yeah, uh, a certain monster starts raising its little face and, yeah, not a pretty time. Yeah, yeah. Jealousy is uh, something that every single person on the face of this earth deals with. Mm -hmm. Maybe on a daily basis. And I'm, I'm, sure, so. I'm, sure, I'm sure you have dealt with jealousy just looking around the cafeteria and you're like, oh, man, yeah, I like what that person's wearing. Mm -hmm. That person has, like better looks than I have. Mm -hmm. Better clothes. Or when grades come out, someone has better grades than you. Yeah. Or, you know, out on the field, you know, mm -hmm. there's someone faster than you. Like, oh, man, I wish I was faster. Oh, mm -hmm. so slow. Mm -hmm. Or, man, that person's way stronger than I am. Mm -hmm. Such a weakling. Mm -hmm. Or more popular. I mean, you got to be popular. Oh, very good. Oh, man, it's a singing episode. <laughs> It is the singing episode. There we go. Uh huh. Jealousy, I think, likes to rear its ugly head, especially when we play this comparisons game. You know, mm -hmm. we look around and we start comparing our lives with other other people's lives, and uh, you know, it makes us disappointed. We're not content. Nope. We want better. I want what he has. Yeah, I want. Well, I want what that person has. Because mm -hmm. what I am, and eh, not so. What this does is we can become very disgruntled with our God, you know, very mm -hmm. upset with him, thinking that he is, you know, pretty stingy. Mm -hmm. He's held out on me. He yep. hasn't given me what I need. He's not giving me what I need. And I know what I need better than he does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we look at people and it really puts distance. This, this jealousy, this green-eyed monster puts distance between us and, and our neighbor. Mm -hmm. Builds a nice wall. A big wall, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, very big wall. Kind of mm -hmm. isolates us. Mm -hmm. And uh, our God doesn't want us to uh, build a wall around our lives and mm -hmm. separate ourselves from others. And, uh, you know, so this green-eyed monster can be pretty powerful in our mm -hmm. lives. So what is our weapon? There is a secret weapon yeah. that our Lord gives us mm -hmm. against jealousy. Yeah, and actually it's... Uh, Maybe a surprise. It's very unexpected. Yeah. It's not what you think. It's Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Thanksgiving. And what do I mean by that, Deaconess? You mean that it's uh, looking to our Lord for... <laughs> what? Uh, what do you mean? What, what, what do we mean by Thanksgiving? The by prayer God. of Thanksgiving. What do we mean by that? That is the secret weapon. That is what we use to lampoon that green-eyed mm -hmm. monster. Mm-hmm. Is looking to our Lord and seeing that every single thing in our life that we have is from Him. Well, instead of and getting jealous that that person has maybe something I want, we come alongside that person in our prayers, right? And, do and what? we say, thank you, God, for giving so-and-so this. Or thank you, God, for giving Pastor this great vacation that I got to see. Thank you for uh, helping these pastors get these sermons written. And most of the time, people don't even know we're jealous about what they have. Mm -hmm. And so this is actually a, kind of a secret agent sort of life. We are mm -hmm. secret thanksgivers mm -hmm. on the field, in the cafeteria, on the streets, in our homes. Mm -hmm. 
in our congregations. We get to play out this life of being secret thanksgivers. So instead of getting uh, jealous and complaining, we actually get to uh, start Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. And, have, and it's funny how as those Thanksgivings continue to rise, what goes down? Yeah, our complaints, mm -hmm. our anger, mm -hmm. you know, just us being discontent. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like... Uh, the Grinch who stole Christmas. Our envy, our jealousy shrinks our hearts, but then uh, with Thanksgiving, our Lord is keeps opening our hearts, so then they're bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Just getting to see more and more what our Lord is giving to the people around us and to us yeah. through them, or giving to us to share with others. Yeah. It just starts making our eyes explode. Our eyes keep getting bigger. Sure. And well, we, the green-eyed monster's eyes keep getting smaller. Yeah, exactly. That's a really good example. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. And, uh, yeah, the more we practice Thanksgiving, you know, these uh, these uh, secret lives of Thanksgivers, mm -hmm. we uh, not only have these eyes that see what God is giving to this person or that person, but, like, to your point, our eyes begin to be open to all that God is giving to mm -hmm. us. You know, to me. And instead of me getting so jealous that that pastor has all of his sermons done, on Tuesday of Holy Week, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for that for that pastor and what the Lord has, has given to that pastor. Mm -hmm. And I'm not upset with that pastor. I look at that pastor. I see that pastor as my neighbor. My neighbor that I get to love. Mm -hmm. Love with my prayers of thanksgiving. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that you actually offered some prayers of thanksgiving for me when I was down in uh, mm -hmm. Hawking Hills. Okay, okay yes. I'm just making sure. Just yes. making sure. Yeah, you're getting to relax. You're getting to have time with family. Uh, what a gift. And really, you know, these prayers of thanksgiving, it's really practicing for the resurrection. Mm -hmm. Because the only sacrifice that we will have in the age to come, the new heavens and the new earth, is the sacrifice of thanksgiving because everything, absolutely everything, will be G-I-F-T. Gift. 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 All gift. So now we get to practice really for the resurrection. Mm -hmm. By seeing what the Lord has blessed this person with, we say, thank you, God, for that person. Thank you, God. We are practicing for the new creation. Mm-hmm. Here in time. Here in time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. How beautiful is that? So happy offering up those prayers of thanksgiving and lampooning that green-eyed monster. <laughs> All the darts. Yeah, All yeah. the darts. <laughs> exactly. All the darts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, dear friends, uh, by his wounds. We are healed. Until next time. See you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.